All right, hey everyone. So some of you might remember this from last year. Uh, this was my master plan that I presented to take over Chad's job. Um, unfortunately, that plan didn't work like at all. It was just a total, complete failure because I'm still in exactly the same place that I was a year ago. So anyway, that was pretty frustrating, but it led me to realize that there's not really a point trying to take Chad's job because it's just not possible. Not, not for lack of trying. I think my plan was pretty efficient. It was pretty well thought out, um, but there's just a conspiracy to stop me from doing it. Kind of like the conspiracy that you actually learn useful things in third year. Um, yeah, anyway, so I decided this year that I'm just going to embrace Chad's existence. Um, and this is what happened. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy. Hi, my name's Sam Marchetti. I'm 21 years old. I've just finished my undergraduate degree, and I'm everything that you want to be. Extreme bodybuilder. Pro cyclist. guitarist, and future winner of The Amazing Race Canada. Now I know what you're thinking. Probably something like, this guy sounds like a legend, or they'd probably take him on his own, or he must share some stupendous memes. And you'd be right on all counts, but The Amazing Race Canada people said that I had to have a partner on this trip. And if I'm going to bring someone with me on my cross-country trek to dominate every other team in this race, I'm going to bring someone they would never expect. My name's Chad Harvey, and I have been Sam's professor for the last four years. That's right, you've seen husbands, wives, boyfriends, girlfriends, YouTube partners, and everything in between, but you've never seen anyone as awe-inspiring as me attempt the amazing race with someone as old and decrepit as Chad. I thought the unique angle here was that I'm, I'm your professor. Yeah, but that's not as funny. Can you just sit there looking like Blake Shelton and read what I wrote, please? You know, I still haven't worked your thesis, right? Chad and I are experienced travelers. Together, we've been across the world. China, Iceland, we did an eight hour road trip to Kentucky together. There just isn't anyone that's as good at traveling as we are, and that's why we're gonna win this easily. Honestly, this is, this is really probably, a, a, this is a really bad idea. We've traveled a few times, I, I guess, field courses, but I've traveled a lot more than Sam, and he's not exactly a good traveler. When we were in China, a communist country, he lost his passport. Like, the only thing he needs to remember, he lost his passport. He was also like drunk two out of the three weeks we were there. I'm gonna die. Like I said, we're experienced travelers. Our experiences together made it easy for us to travel by almost any method of transportation. Okay, I got those Air Canada tickets to Georgia, a non-stop 16-hour flight. Wait, did you say 16 hours? 16 hours to fly to Atlanta? Wait, did you book a six to Eastern Europe? Clearly, we're an unbeatable team. Chad has the wisdom that comes with age, and I've got, like, everything else. Yeah, this is definitely a bad idea. But we're not just gonna win because of that. We're gonna win because we're gonna use our heads, our minds and our brains too. I'm gonna die on this trip, aren't I? Yeah, exactly, because we're either gonna win or we're gonna die trying. For your consideration, we are team unteachable, and we'll see you at the starting line. You know, this is supposed to be meeting about your thesis, right? <laughs> 